Queen praises power of a bit of toast and tea in bringing communities together as she hosts multi-faith gathering at Buckingham Palace. The Queen last night spoke of the power of food to bring communities together, saying a bit of toast and tea goes a long way. The message came as she celebrated the contribution of faith groups to British life at Buckingham Palace, expressing her hope that guests of all religions would form new connections and friendships. Even at 93, she personally greeted all 160 visitors with a handshake, thanking them for their positive influence on local communities. Among the guests was Nayat Khan, who featured in the Daily Mail on Monday, who was thanked for her work at London-based New Vision for Women which invites women from diverse communities to meet over food and discuss their problems. She wanted to know all about our projects and the challenges the women we work with face, Mrs Khan said. The Queen then spoke of the work of another guest, Anna Dyson, a Jewish mother who runs a social enterprise cafe in Leeds called Toast Love Coffee. Mrs. Khan said of the Queen, she said a bit of tea and toast can go a long way. It's very British isn't it? The Queen then told guests she hoped new connections had been made, saying, I can hear all the talking. I hope it's going well. Kate Middleton is now the patron of the Royal Photographic Society. Kensington Palace announced today. The role was previously held by the Queen for 67 years before she passed down the responsibility to the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate will celebrate the new gig with a visit to a photography workshop run by the Photo Society and Action for Children, another one of her royal patronages. The Duchess has a long-standing interest in photography and this patronage will further highlight the beneficial impact that art and creativity can have on emotional well-being, particularly for children and young people, a press release from the palace reads. Kate, who studied art history in college, has been the patron of the National Portrait Gallery since 2012 and became the first royal patron of the Victoria and Albert Museum in 2018, according to the royal family's official website. She's also known to take the official portraits of her children, Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1, which are usually released on their birthdays. The Queen's giving Kate a patronage that so closely aligns with her interests is a touching gesture. The Sovereign did something similar with Meghan Markle, she handed down her patronage of the National Theatre to the former actress, 